remember right, the radio station was this way. Guys, they put it in the bad part of town. It's cute. How do you think there's a good part of town? It's like the one percenters bring the good part with them. This is why nobody talks about Gotham, okay? The city might as well be dead. Sounds like you guys aren't from around here. You probably don't know. The Gotham Tourism Bureau collects a tax on out-of-towners. So, phones, wallets, watches, now. You know what, fellas? I, we don't want any trouble, so maybe we can just talk this out. Okay? <laughs> talk it out. OK, I'll talk first. Swatted Nolan and Burton. Three narrow sighted at Nolan and Burton. Sir, we don't want any trouble. Yeah, tell that to Oliver Quinn here. Oliver! Stand down. Um, excuse me, officer? Were you able to get in touch with Laura Lance at the Star City DA's office, or...? Yeah. She said, uh, I think a night in jail would do them some good. <laughs> what were you thinking? That you were about to get yourself shot. You're welcome. I was de-escalating the situation, you know, like, um... Like I would? Uh-huh. Well, guess what, man? I handled it exactly how you would. Okay, you guys, maybe. Taking on each other's personalities worked for Amazo, but you were not going to talk your way out of getting mugged, and you escalated the situation way too fast. So what would you have done? What I would have done is super sped us right out of there. All they would have seen is a gust of wind. I mean, hindsight's 2020, but we'll follow your lead next time. Because there will really be a next time when someone threatens three superheroes with a gun. Good news. Somebody posted your bail. Who? I don't know. Guess someone wanted to make you guys their headache instead of mine. Push ourselves out. Please, come with me. I'm guessing this belongs to whoever bailed us out. I really think we've had enough distractions for one night. Yeah, I agree with my friend. We, we appreciate the early release or whatever, but we're really fine on our own. I'm afraid my employer insists. You said it wouldn't happen again.